Hello everybody, I'm Rainer and I'm really pleased to talk about transferring LC methods to UHPLC methods. And I want to talk a little bit about hardware and software, how you can do that on the Ultima 3000 in the, uh, behind me and use uh, an integrated tool in Chromelion to achieve that very easily and very fast. Let me first talk a little bit about the hardware considerations when you want to move LC methods to UHPLC systems. The perfect option is obviously having a system which is able to run both uh, type of techniques. We can achieve that in the Ultima 3000 very easily by offering the same design for LC and UHPLC systems. Yeah? So even if you have a 620 bar standard system which is UHPLC ready, you will be uh, able to um, move back and forth LC and UHPLC methods as long as you stay in that uh, pressure range. One of the reasons why this is so easily possible with the Ultima 3000 is the design of the uh, pump. The pump design, actually the internal volumes is really the same independently if you work with a 1000 bar or with a 620 bar system. So every method which is developed by your R&D colleagues can easily transfer then uh, also into a QC environment. So the entire internal volume, which is the delay volume here on this low pressure gradient pump, uh, is similar designed independently. The flow path is exactly the same. So we're going from the pump to the auto sampler. Yeah. Here, as a consideration, we have also a very fast auto-sampler. Yeah? So we have the ability to realize very fast cycle times with injection times less than 15, very often less than 10 seconds. And let me show you how short the connections are from the auto-sampler, from the point of injection to the column. And how spacious also this column compartment is to really allow you to put in very long traditional columns, but also the new uh, geometries of the UHPLC columns, the short ones, the um, 2.1 and lower diameters. So lots of space, very short connections, yeah? and we have the chance to put in multiple columns if we want to. From the uh, end of the column, we are very fast then down in our detector. Uh, and make sure the peak dispersion is as low as possible and we can maintain the sharp peaks we achieved on the column. This was the hardware, so let's talk now about the software and the tool we have implemented there to do the transition from LC to UHPLC very fast. I'm using thermoscientific uh, Chromelion 7.1 to control the system, but also do the data processing. And let me just show you how easy it is to have access and to use our speed up tool. I'm pretty much here in the Chromelion console. I open up the existing uh, instrument method I'm using for my LC method. And you see that's even running at this moment. And I have a nice friendly button here where I see this is my speed up tool and I can just activate my wizard here. Chromelion is very smart. It actually now picks up uh, the current conditions used to acquire the data and to do the run. It also is able to see the highest um, back pressure level achieved during this um, run. So we can use this data automatically in our um, speed up considerations. What we need to do in the first step is very much select the critical pair of the two peaks which are mostly our concern to be separated clearly. Once we have very graphically, very visually assigned that peak pair, we can just move to the next step. We can then put in our current column configuration and then use the tool to plan for different types of small particle columns, different lengths, to find the best uh, column uh, to purchase or in our drawer. 
So I'm putting in uh, the current column length, which is 150 millimeter, and it's a 4.6 millimeter column, and we have a 5 micron particle size. I can now assign the back pressure rating of the system I'm using. And that information is also used by Chromelion to make sure we can run the column we have selected, the small particle column, we can run it on our current system. I can then also choose column length and particle size yeah, and advance to the next step where uh, I can define then also the critical peak width. Yeah. That helps us to determine the acquisition rate for the new method. As we have faster peaks, we also need to have a faster acquisition rate on our detectors. So you have seen that was a really very guided step-by-step -step way how you have uh, develop now your new UHPLC method. You only need to put in your new column and you're ready to go.